AutoCAD PNID is launched in a similar method to other versions of the program. You can double-click a shortcut, which can be installed on your desktop or taskbar. You can also double-click a drawing file if the DWG file is associated with the program executable. Once it is first launched from the desktop icon, AutoCAD PNID opens to a new tab. If you are opening the program for the first time, you may see a window that includes three sections, Learn, Create, and Get Started. The Create tab is the default page and includes tools to help create drawings and projects. The Get Started tool includes shortcuts to create a new project or open an existing project. The Visit App Store opens a web browser where you can search for add-on applications to use with AutoCAD PNID. Create also includes a list of recent drawings, which you can select to open the file. Notifications let you know about important updates, licensing issues, and more. The Connect tool is a link to the Autodesk 360 cloud-based online system, which helps you share documents, review drawings, track comments, and more. While Autodesk 360 is limited in functionality for AutoCAD PNID projects and drawings, it's a useful tool for many of your base AutoCAD functions. Click Learn to open the tab. From here, you can review new features, watch only training videos, and review other online resources including the Autodesk Services and Support Tools. Click Get Started. This welcome screen reviews different features of the program and explains from a high level how projects work in AutoCAD PNID. Return to the Create tab. From the Application menu, click New to create a new drawing. Select the PID ANSI D Color Dependent Plot Styles .dwt file and then click Open. Drawing tabs display any open drawings at the top of the screen, and the New tab also remains available. To close it, simply click on the right side of the tab. With the purchase of AutoCAD PNID, you also receive the full version of AutoCAD. This includes ribbon tabs, panels, and tools, including the Home, Insert, Annotate, Manage, View, and Output tabs that are part of the base program. Additional tabs for Add-ins, Autodesk 360, Express Tools, and tabs for Autodesk and BIM 360 are also included. A Vault tab is included if you need to manage and share files in a secure, document-controlled environment. Several tools are available as options, including profiles for custom configurations. To see what profiles are installed, right-click on the command line and then choose Options. The Options dialog box opens. Select the Profiles tab. The unnamed profile launches AutoCAD PNID with full support for PNID and runs the session with all of the AutoCAD features available. While profile customization is not covered in this series, just realize that you can make all the same pathing drawing, and system options that are possible with Base AutoCAD. Another option setting you want to review is the color scheme. This tool is located on the Display tab. There are two options. The default is Dark, which adds a dark color to the ribbon, palettes, and overall program window. Set this to Light and note the differences. Under Layout Elements, make sure the Display Layout and Model Tabs option is selected. This displays the tabs on the status bar at the bottom of the screen and helps you make sure you know which environment you are working in. Click OK to save the changes and return to the program window. Now that you've had a chance to review what happens when the program is launched, you may open a drawing file using the Open dialog or utilize the Project Manager to access the drawing files of a specific project. It really is easy to get started in AutoCAD PNID.